Your only problem with life is, it's not happening the way you think it should happen. If it is not happening the way you think it should happen, maybe it is happening somebody else's way and somebody else is happy. <laughs> and uh, most of the people in the same breath, they say they believe in God, so maybe it's happening his way. <laughs> so essentially it's not happening the way you think it should happen. But look at the way you're thinking. Two years ago how you're thinking and today how you're thinking, is it the same? No. So you are glad those things didn't happen. But it takes two years to realize that, <laughs> that I'm glad those things didn't happen. A whole lot of things don't happen. So what? The important thing is, how profound and how exuberant is your experience of life? Life is not that it must happen your way. If it happens your way, what does it mean? What is your way? Right now what you know, from that you concoct something which you call, this is my way, isn't it? Do you know everything in the universe? No. Whatever we may know, it is still very little, isn't it so? From this, we are expecting something should happen. You must be glad something you do not know happened, something that you did not expect happened. This means life is happening to you. My blessing usually for people is, let something happen in your life that you could not dream of. Something that you could not dream of, that must happen, that means you're living a fabulous life. But if something new happens that you did not think of, you will freak, don't do that. New things are happening, something that you did not expect is happening, you should ride on that. See, there's only two ways, life has its waves. If you have learned to ride the wave, you're a wave rider, your dream is a tsunami one day. But if you never learned how to ride, then you get crushed by the waves. Something wrong with the waves? No. You did not make yourself fit for life, that is what is wrong. Nothing wrong with life, it's happening. Hmm? Are you fit for this world or not? This is happening all the time. You know, we are a volunteer organization, <laughs> millions of volunteers. Lots of things happening around the world, big movements, but none of them are qualified for the job. Just whoever comes fills the space. I keep them up, keep them up, keep them up with enthusiasm and inspiration endlessly, but they don't know what to do. They're enthusiastic, you know? Enthusiasm without direction, how much trouble it is to manage <laughs> And uh, you cannot fire them because they're volunteers. You didn't hire them to fire them, first of all <laughs> So, this will be happening all the time, somebody comes up to me and, uh, Sadhguru, I can't work with this person, he's so terrible, she's horrible, she's that <laughs> I say, see, the world is full of such horrible people only. If you want to find something horrible, you can find something horrible in everybody, just in everybody, without exception, yes or no? If you think what you're doing is significant, you learn to work with such horrible people. But if you want to work with ideal people, you must go to heaven and today. <laughs> At this stage in your life, young people, don't produce a list of complaints about what's wrong. Produce a list of solutions for me, let me see, to your life and everybody's life around you. That'll be a forward moment. If you invest on your problems, you will see everything in the universe is a problem, believe me. Tell me one person here who is not a problem in some way. If you encounter them the wrong way, each one of them is a problem, isn't it? So it is your skill in life that you approach them the solution end of it.